Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to shoot round reflective objects using a clamp light, a piece of drafting tissue paper, and a digital SLR on a semi-automatic mode. So let's get over to the set and get started. A round reflective object is a difficult thing to shoot. So I've chosen billiard balls, which are very reflective. Over the top, we're going to use a drafting tissue, and through that, our clamp light on a stand, and we have our camera set up to the left. Now let's go over to the camera and see what our settings are going to be to do this shot. I'm selecting aperture value, in which we select the f-stop or opening of the lens, and then the camera automatically selects the speed or time it needs to stay open to get the exposure correct. And here's the readout. We've selected 5.6 as our f-stop or aperture. The camera automatically selected a 30th of a second. We're using manual focus because I'm focusing on the farthest ball away from the camera and the stabilizer is off because we're on a tripod. Our lens is a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom. We have it all the way to 85 millimeters. Let's make our first exposure. With the light over the tissue and slightly behind the billiard balls, we get a nice foreground shadowing, great roundness, and a wonderful highlight on the tops of the balls. Let's move the light a bit and see what else we can get. We're going to change the light a little bit just to see a different effect. So I'm going to move the light down behind the balls a little more and then raise up the light which spreads it over the surface of the tissue paper. Let's take a shot here and see what the differences are. The lighting has brightened the background behind the balls and spread the light across the tissue paper to give a broader highlight on top of each of the balls. So let's take a look at these two shots side by side. So here you can see the first shot on the left has slightly smaller highlight, a darker background, and the one on the right has a much lighter background and broader, smoother highlights. Let's change it again. So now we've seen the light over the top and strongly from the back. So let's go in and try to get some more light into the front. We raise the stand up and aim the light forward to spread the light more towards the front of the tissue, opening up the top and front. Let's take a look at that. Well here it is. It spread the light much more forward so we have a much more open shot but it put a hard line across the balls more visibly on the black and the red. Let's look at the three shots together to see where we are. Here we have our original shot on the left, our shot in the middle which has the brighter background and the softer highlight, and our shot on the right which has more open shadowing in the foreground, but we have the hard line. Let's see if we can take care of that hard line. The line is created by the light illuminating the edge of the paper. So by raising the paper up, shortens the spread of the light so it does not light the edge of the paper which created the line. So in this case we move the paper not the light. Let's shoot one here. And here's the result. It's given us a small round highlight on the round balls which is very pleasing. It opened up the shot and we have a great graphic. Here's the progression of events, and you can see by moving the light back and forth, up or down, you get different effects. And in the end, we wound up moving the paper up and didn't move the light at all. So try different things and see what you can get. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and see how very small adjustments in your lighting can make very big differences. Look for us again at LearnMyShot.com. Thank you.